Magic is incredible because I, I think as far as an art form, it's something that really directly has the potential to challenge someone's uh, way of seeing the world. Pick a card, see a trick. Me? Yeah. Nice. Memorize it? You know, I'm just gonna do something totally different. Can you come over here? Can you make your hands empty again? Cool. You told me you're right-handed, right? Right. I'm gonna put these in your left hand, okay? Can you see one, two, three, four quarters there? Yes. Okay, can the camera see them too? Can you push them together with your right hand just like that? Cool. Excellent. I want you to just pretend to pick one up and put it in my hand. So don't actually do it, just pretend to pretend. pick one up. Yeah, just pretend. Good, and close your hand. Now, you see how I have a quarter, obviously, right? Open your hand. Look, open, no, this one. Open, open, you see, you have now three quarters. The magic I'm drawn to is uh, close-up magic, which is uh, magic that kind of really happens right in front of the person, it's really direct. How do you do that? In your face. My favorite part of uh, doing magic in the city is meeting all the different people, interacting with them, connecting with them, making friends that way, and uh, the opportunities that uh, have opened up since meeting uh, a lot of those people. I very rarely try to pick up girls when I do magic, and uh, it very rarely uh, gets me anywhere. It might not work if you use someone else's name. It, it works best if you put your real phone number on it. Put your real phone number on there. <laughs> You'll be surprised how often that works. You can see it, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Watch. You'd be surprised how often that works. That is correct. Put it in the middle somewhere. It's going to look like it's going in the middle. Isn't that convincing? <laughs> nice. Wow. Here. It really, it's convincing. You can see it, right? Yeah. Push it in for me. Since you, yeah. So did I. Here, look, I'll give it a good crimp like this. Now it looks like it's going in the middle. It's very convincing. When I perform, a lot of the times I kind of build a story around the fact that I'm legally blind. I'm legally blind, but I don't see any numbers. Here, take this for me. This is weird. Oh, no. Seriously? Yeah, seriously, I knew you were coming. Oh my god. See? No wonder I look like someone you knew. Yeah. Keep it, it's yours. That was really cool. Yeah. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Thank you. I don't pick magicians very often, but once in a while. Oh, nice. Give me an email. Thanks. What did she say? She said you should email her. I will. And I've gotten feedback from people that. Uh, tell me that after they've seen me perform, they really kind of start to believe that m maybe more is possible than they thought in, in the past. And that everything is not really so rigid. What's your name? Carlos. Carlos. Thanks for helping, Carlos. My name is Justin. Could you check out this envelope and make sure there's nothing inside of it? It's just an empty, empty. envelope, or so I say. I'm gonna take this. Take anyone you want. Would you sign it for me? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Excellent. Now you know no other one like that exists, correct? Okay. Here's what I'll do. Let me take the envelope from you, okay? Mm -hmm. You examined it, you made sure nothing was inside of it? Okay. okay. This envelope is gonna go right into my pockets, okay? Right into my pocket. Is that really in there? Yeah. Okay. You see your card? Yep. Can you visualize the envelope for me? Yeah. You remember what it looks like? Yeah. Keep thinking of what it looks like, okay? Watch closely. It has the potential to really kind of open someone up to, to be in a humble space of like, you know, I really don't know. I might think I kind of know how things are, but... So look, inside of my pocket now, there's the whole deck of cards. <laughs> Anything can happen at any moment, and things come out of the blue at all times. Maybe it gets them interested into looking deeper into into the nature of life and reality and maybe opens them up to bigger possibilities for their their own life and their own dreams. In many ways, don't miss the good old days. Someday. Hey guys, I'm Nell Casey, the food editor at Gothamist. Thank you so much for watching. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more delectable videos and let us know in the comments where in New York City you'd like to see us film next. I'll catch you all on the flip side.